Hello, mate, and thanks for interviewing me. Yes, yeah, so I'm uh, Jason Thatcher, and I'm the founder and uh, director behind uh, Global Village Housing and uh, an active uh, volunteer. Um, as a designer for the, the, the housing that we use, uh, which has evolved over quite some time, as you know, for the last five years or more, um, we've been building and uh, testing these houses out in the field. And the, the houses have proved to be extremely successful um, for pretty much people who are homeless or people who live on rubbish dumps around Cambodia and in a lot of the very remote uh, villages. And um, as you see, our houses have evolved now that they're flat pack. Um, we have a small factory in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and um, they're all pre-built and uh, shipped out and we can now once a house is out in location we can put a house up in three and a half hours so that had me thinking about uh, an alternative way that we could build a house that would suit the environment and be uh, cheap strong and robust and also relocatable because a lot of the families that we're working with they, they were often squatting on the land next to the rubbish field uh, landfill and they could be asked to be moved you know could be moved on at any given time uh, often the area that they were uh, living on was three meters by three meters and that's kind of how our house ended up being on average three meters by three meters so if we were to gift a, a family a home um, we could take their old house down slot in a new house without affecting the other families around them of course, all our houses um, have guttering and solar lighting and they're fully insulated. So even on the hottest day, um, they stay cool. Um, my idea behind using steel for the framing is because I, um, I did a lot of research on the timber in Cambodia. And of course, most of it's carved directly out of the, the mass land clearing that's going on throughout the country. Um, and of course, with timber, it's, um, it can be difficult in the tropical conditions. And I felt that steel was a much better product to work with. So it's you know, evolved over a long time. And um, a number of our key staff um, themselves have grown up in the Staminche area and also have been um, children grown up uh, living and working on rubbish dumps. So they have first-hand experience of how difficult life can be in those situations. As we've evolved, um, we now predominantly work in the most rural parts of Cambodia, which, as we all know when we're out there, uh, we're the only ones out there. Uh, there's many uh, charities and NGOs throughout Cambodia, but they seem to stick to the major cities. We've taken a different approach and we're specialising in working in, in the most remote parts of Cambodia and it's um, an incredible experience. The biggest challenge is, is getting the homes just into those villages because the, most, the more remote they are, uh, often there's no roads. Uh, we've had houses delivered by boat, canoe, four-wheel drive, on the back of ox carts and all sorts of... Um, scenarios and uh, yeah it's come a long way uh, it's been um, a big um, a big process and but it's almost addictive at the same time because when you meet the families and the difference it makes by giving a family a, um, a place called home um, it's a truly incredible experience the average price for one of our houses is sixteen hundred and fifty dollars and that includes solar lighting um, and effectively the people that sponsor a house in return what they get is their name on the house and the information about the family who have been gifted the house and also what we do is um, we have a, a contract arrangement with the family um, and that's worked extremely well and basically that protects the family and also the house last thing we want to be doing is gifting a home to a family and a loan shark which is often a big problem in Cambodia comes along and takes that that house from the family so we have a thumbprint agreement between the family that they won't 
sell the house, hock the house, rent the house. They'll be good, to, they'll be good with their neighbours and good with their children. And we have the local commune chief or the village chief co-sign that. And that gives it a lot of clout. And so far, that's been 100% successful. As you would have seen, um, our house is and design is currently being used by the, the Cambodia Insurance Fund uh, and also World Housing. And to, to date, there's including the houses that we've built and the Cambodia Insurance Fund aligned with World Housing, there's been about 300 houses now built in Cambodia. So we are making a, a, a big difference and we are very much a, a grassroots social enterprise running on an oily rag and making a huge difference. And I think I'd like to say that we are really showing some of these extremely wealthy charities and NGOs that you can make a big difference on very little money and you don't waste your money, you can really change lives. And that's what we're all about.